By feeding your tortoises a variety of healthy foods, you can ensure consistent growth and overall health. This is Gamora, my juvenile Burmese star getting her weekly weight check. This is what all of my tortoises are eating today. It's a mixture of arrow garden greens and forage from my outdoor garden and plants. You can plant your own seeds in the arrow garden. I've grown lettuce varieties, mustard greens, collards, endive, escarole, and Italian dandelion. Zinnias will grow, but they quickly overtake the lights in height, so they do better outside. Florida has a short growing season for leafy greens before it gets too hot, so with the arrow gardens, I can grow greens year-round. I actually don't fill all of the slots because they tend to get overcrowded, but as you can see, I have a large variety of greens growing. I don't pay attention to what I plant, I just make sure everything is tortoise edible. Outside, I have two garden beds. Italian dandelion does extremely well year-round here in North Florida. Lettuce can be planted in December and January, but doesn't do well once it gets really hot. During the hot summer months, I rely on the arrow gardens to provide fresh greens. This is Italian dandelion, and then you can see new seeds planted in the other bed. One thing I do every day is add dried toppers from Capodolo Farms. This is a great way to ensure variety and add nutritional value to your regular greens. There are times when I feed spring mix or romaine, but I always add a topper. I only use one topper at a time and rotate through them on different days. I take all of my mixed greens and add a couple pinches of the day's chosen topper. Today is red clover. I mix it in well and the moisture from the cut greens helps it stick. Then I plate up portions for everyone this is feeding yellowfoots, redfoots, and Burmese stars. I also use the same mix to feed my bearded dragon. I take whatever hibiscus flowers I gathered from the yard and divide them up between all of the tortoises. Sometimes midsummer, they eat almost all hibiscus. In the winter, it's usually just one to two flowers. Then everyone gets fed. The Burmese stars are just under a year old, so they are still being soaked daily. The yellowfoots are next. I use paper plates just for ease of feeding. Then you can see my older Burmese star who is patiently waiting for breakfast. I hope this gives you some ideas for how to add variety to your tortoise's diet. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tortoise care tips.